everybody, and happy Thursday. Welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Andrea Jackson, along with John Brown and Mitch English, Key and Clayton standing by to get you plugged into the latest news. We are so fat. How fat are we? We are so fat that car makers are making bigger seats for our big butts. Somebody had to. We make a bigger car. <laughs> Man, sakes alive, if the cars weren't big enough, now we got the big old seats. So we're going to talk about this new trend in car making coming up. Well, the Hummers too. I mean, uh, you know, people think, well, they're much bigger. So you're thinking you can, I could fit my whole family in it. Uh, right. Not the case. You still can only fit five people in it. Mm -hmm. they're, but they're just, you just have more room. You know? right. Big seats. <laughs> and and uh, we are also taking, you have much bigger seats. We're all taking your emails at buzz at dailybuzz.tv. Our water cooler so uh, subject is, you know the movie Wedding Crashers? Oh, yeah. So funny, good. funny movie. We want to hear your crazy wedding stories, all right? We want to hear something good, maybe bad. Somebody crash it. Have you ever crashed a party? Buzz at dailybuzz.tv. Oh. They do have the best food at some of those weddings. I just go by for the yeah. buffet sometimes. So you've crashed one. Uh, a couple. <laughs> uh, also this morning, the Red Cross under fire for uh, what happened to some contributions to Hurricane Katrina victims. Contributions? So were they stolen? That story coming up this morning. Let's get you plugged into the news. Here's Kia Malone. Good morning, Kia. Hey, Andrea. Here are your latest headlines from CNN and the Associated Press. Wildfires are continuing their rampage across Texas and in Oklahoma this morning. So far, the blazes have killed five people, including two women trapped inside their homes. Wildfires have also destroyed more than 100 buildings in both states, leaving parts of towns in ruins. Firefighters say wind gusts of up to 40 miles per hour are fueling the flames that have charred nearly 20,000 acres in the two states. Northern California is for another drenching this morning as more storms are expected to roll on through. Rivers in the Bay Area are at their highest levels in seven years, causing power outages and forcing some people to evacuate. Flood warnings are already in effect for the northern half of the state, where one person died as a result of a car pileup blamed on a landslide. Meanwhile, state and federal officials are releasing huge amounts of water from two dams to free up more reservoir space. And the U.S. military has suffered yet another casualty in the war on terror this morning after a roadside bomb exploded in Afghanistan. The Pentagon says a soldier was killed on a mountain road while on patrol in the eastern part of the country. Two other soldiers in his armored vehicle were hurt. An Afghan working, work, or Afghan working for the military was also killed. The region along the border with Pakistan is a militant hideout and the scene of some of the deadliest attacks on U.S. forces this year. You are plugged into the news. We'll see you in just a little bit. It is time to talk severe weather. Here's Mitch English with the latest. What do you got, Mitch? Hey there, AJ. You know, one of the most gorgeous places in the country up there in parts of Portland and the Oregon area today has just been inundated, as uh, we just talked about. Look what's going on right around the uh, Beaverton area as uh, flood waters continue on. Folks can't go to the parks because the parks with the bridges, well, it's just rain and flood. And uh, that flooding activity is expected to kind of move on throughout the forecast. A little break in the action today. It's expected to return by this afternoon. I'll show you what's going on over the last 24 hours. We're going to be calling it. Most of the showers start off from parts of central California are going to break up. You'll get a little break in the action. Still clouds around the forecast. Up throughout parts of the Cascades into the northwest. We're going to watch this slowly. This energy makes its way and kind of breaks up. And then we do have a secondary round that's expected to pop up through tonight. Not to see it on this. this is over the last 24 hours, but it is expected to continue on its easterly trek. That's what's happening throughout the nation here. Now look at your day ahead. Temperatures today of 73 comes with higher winds out of the west southwest. We'll see them up to around 20 miles per hour. There's a slight chance of showers. Don't think we'll see anything really heavy. 45 for the expected low. Nice and clear for tonight. Five day forecast comes up in seven minutes. It's about four minutes now after the hour. I'm collecting money by the way today because the moths got a hold of Andrea's shirt. So I'm gonna be buying I'm gonna be buying a shirt later hey, if you guys wanna here's the thing. It's built in air conditioning. Yes it is. Do you see that? Come on. I like it. I really like it. It gets a little too hot, then I just kinda fan myself mm -hmm. and I'm in good shape. So you're, it, you know what it, it needs a shawl. You need like a, a grandma in, ca in case you get chilly. I feel old enough. I don't need a damn <laughs> you don't need shawl. A shawl. Okay then. Get me a rocking chair before you know it and I'll be up here doing one of these. Next next Christmas. You've already got your gift. All right, the organization that the world turns to for help in times of crisis is facing a financial crisis of their own this morning. 49 people have now been indicted for a scheme that built hundreds of thousands of dollars from a Red Cross fund designated for Hurricane Katrina victims. At least 14 of the suspects worked at a call center in Bakersfield, California. They are accused of helping family and friends file false claims to get some of the money. So here's how it worked. Prosecutors say the suspects provided friends and relatives with a PIN number, which they then used to get the money from a Western Union. 
That PIN number often matched that of a real victim, which caused a race to get to the Western Union first. Wow. The fake claims drained at least $200,000 from the fund, but the Red Cross is making it clear none of the suspects worked directly for the Red Cross, and the call center was also not a part of the Red Cross. But here's the thing, they were hired as independent contractors mm -hmm. for the Red Cross, so the Red Cross is responsible. It's a catch-22 because everybody wanted immediate action. Sure. So the Red Cross couldn't do background checks, they couldn't make sure that everything was on the up and up because if they would have stalled, then people would have said, why are you stalling? You gotta get this in line. So they couldn't win either way. Bummer is people will, will uh, second guess their donations if they think this kind of thing is going on. Uh, I guess, but don't you think it's a little weird when this many people are going in California to get hurricane funds? Yeah. that far away yeah that's the red flag yeah. are you packing all the pounds don't worry even if your clothes don't fit that car seat will still feel just right how about that that's because automakers are now using bigger virtual mannequins to help design wider seats that will add more space to their interiors Having extra white seats is important now because 62% of adults are considered overweight or obese. Domestic automakers say they already had seats for the increasingly obese drivers. Now foreign brands are jumping on board. Honda now offers some of their models with front seats that are three quarters of an inch wider. Mercedes-Benz and Subaru both have front seats about a half an inch wider and Mitsubishi's front seats are also slightly wider. For the auto industry, their solution is not just about larger seats anymore, it's also about wider cars. Well, you got to market to bigger people because that's a significant portion. There's an ad campaign. I don't know if any of you guys have heard this. I think it's Ford Trucks. And it says something like, if your name is Big Al and your wife is Big Marge, have you heard that? You need a big truck. That's the ad campaign. I'm thinking, my gosh, they're marketing to fat people now. Well, and, but that's a significant portion of the audience. When more than half of the people in the country are considered obese. All right, Big Marge. Just yell Large Marge sent ya. It's time for news by the numbers. Here's uh, Slim Clayton. Slim. <laughs> Yeah, but well, I you still, got a little car. I got a little car, but I'm still tall. They need to make taller cars. <laughs> Stand up right. right. Good morning, everyone. It's time to go beyond your headlines this morning and take a look at your news by the numbers. Here's your first number this morning. More than 12 months. If it takes you longer than 12 months to get pregnant, chances are you're having a boy. Mm -hmm. That's right. The more sex you have when trying to get pregnant, the more likely you are to have a boy. That explains it. The th it does explain <laughs> it. The theory among researchers <laughs> is that female sperm just better swimmers. Yeah. Although a better explanation is that the Y chromosome is lighter than the X chromosome. Here's your next number this morning, 16. Under Pope Benedict the 16th, the Catholic state of limbo may soon become a thing of the past. Unlike purgatory, the theory of limbo puts children outside of heaven on account of original sin alone. Now, as a concept, limbo has long been out of favor anyway. It's a concept that was never official church doctrine, though. Of course, the biggest problem, though, for the Catholic Church is abortion. If they get rid of limbo, then what happens to the souls of the aborted fetuses? That's something the church has not figured out just yet. So next time you say, oh, we're off in limbo, can't use it anymore. Can, yeah, uh, a ski, ski resort outside of Durango, Colorado called Purgatory. I kid you not, they changed yeah. the name because they were afraid of offending people. See, right. Purgatory still, you can still use that. Limbo, no, really? nothing's in limbo anymore, <laughs> according to the Catholic Church. Here's your next number this morning, one in 300. Those are the odds that an internet search will include the word sex. <laughs> according to a survey, it's widely believed that sex is the most searched for word on the internet, with other terms such as porn, nude, and also XXX, also in the top 20. I don't know why you'd have to search for it. Just do what John Brown does and bookmark it. It's uh, easy. Uh, over it's easy. 40 you don't need to search for it. No, if you make it your home page, it pops up anytime you log on. It's simple. Just right. Who needs to search for you porn? You don't have to. Those oh, pop-up ads, they're up yeah, anyway. There you go. The pop-ups. Those are some good cookies. Yes, they are. The pop-ups. Did you guys hear about that? The uh, the government now uh, offering cookies. You know, or the cookies mm -hmm. are basically things when you go to websites, they kind of like gather information. When They'll you go stay to government, on your computer, yeah. Well, yeah, government websites now are offering that, and they're trying to talk about the Freedom of Information Act. And they're so. soft, too. They're like soft batch cookies. No, these are totally different. Totally oh, different. different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Toll House. Mrs. Toll Showers House. expected up through parts of the northwest. We're going to see a little break in the action. Actually, you're going to see some of that rain by these afternoon. Up through the northeast, we'll see a mixture of both rain and snow, possibly a nor'easter if some colder air continues to allow it to make its way from the mid-Atlantic northward. Clouds continue to dominate a majority of the Midwest. We're seeing quiet conditions thanks to dominant high pressure down through the southeast. The wind's not as strong as what we saw yesterday, but still there for the brush fires in parts of northern Texas, as well as into parts of Oklahoma and the southwest, seeing mostly sunny skies. That's what's happening throughout the nation. And now look at your day ahead. The Daily Buzz weather is brought to you in part by David Moss Toyota. David Moss Toyota, whatever it takes.
You know what? I mean, it's not bad today. Do got a chance of rain, okay? Good. Temperatures going into the uh, low 70s for the high, but I want you to look at the winds out this west southwest. Now, gusts could get up to around 25, possibly 30 miles per hour. Very windy day today. Extra glue. <laughs> no, 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 Matt, and I didn't get it. 45 for the expected low. Nice and clear for our expected forecast tonight. Sorry, got to get them all out of my system before the new year, okay? We're talking about good weather. I mean, it's not bad at all. Temperatures Friday and Saturday going from the low 70s to the upper 70s. You got a great looking uh, forecast for Saturday night if you're going out there and partying. Take it easy now, all right? We want to see you there in 2006. Save time and money this holiday season at David Moss Toyota. Hi, I'm David Moss. Start by choosing from the entire lineup of the most fuel efficient vehicles available. We'll give you your price and payment in 10 minutes so you can take your new car home in one hour, plus we'll pay off your trade no matter what you owe. And now when you purchase any new or quality pre-owned Toyota, you'll receive our exclusive seven year, 100,000 mile warranty. That's right, a seven year, 100,000 mile warranty only at David Moss Toyota. Celebrate a dealership that makes car buying fun and fast this holiday season. David Moss Toyota, whatever it takes. Past the hour, that means it's time for Mitch's World. Yay! It was the great flush off at the Louisiana Cajun Dome. Many Gulf Coast residents had salt shelter there after the hurricanes, and the pipes needed to be checked. So the Cajun Dome suits originally wanted to use special cameras and snake through the plumbing, but FEMA wouldn't put up the $45,000 bill. So volunteers ran water in the sinks, flushed all the toilets all at once. The flush off was scheduled to last about an hour, which <laughs> that's, that's called lunchtime for me. Back to y'all at the Big Kid's death. <laughs> Nasty. eBay is turning your unwanted Christmas gifts into happy returns. We've got details on the guilt-free return policy on the way. And there is proof that people really do mimic what they see in the movies, and it's hidden right there in your wedding album. We're talking about real-life wedding crashers as we gather around the water cooler. Plus, a trail of trash leads police to a stranded garbage man. I have all your details coming up on his River Rescue next. We're getting you plugged into the news on your Thursday morning. Right now, it is 12 minutes past the hour, and you are watching The Daily Buzz. Good morning. The holidays are a special time. They're about giving... And being with family. Nice. We usually hang ours on the door. The holidays are about giving. Still on Christmas! And being with family. There's no figgy pudding for you here! They're about giving. It's a Canadian coin? Get out of here! And being with family. This is supposed to be a happy time! <laughs> happy holidays from WB18. Your home for laughs. The Daily Buzz is brought to you in part by Classic Automotive Group. The Honda end of year clearance event is going on now at Classic Honda. This sale happens just once a year, so hurry to take advantage of incredible savings during the best time to buy your new Honda. Like the 2006 Honda Ridgeline RT. MSRP is $28,250. Right now, clearance price for only $25,628. That means you save $26,22. Hurry in today. The Honda year end clearance event ends soon. Come see us today on West Colonial Drive or pick up the phone and give us a call at 1-800-NEXT-HONDA. Family owned and operated for 16 years, All My Sons Moving and Storage is the company you can trust when you move in town or across the nation. All My Sons Moving and Storage makes your moving easy with estimators that come to you and a guaranteed price in writing. All furniture is pad wrapped at no extra charge with direct service and same day or next day delivery available. All My Sons Moving and Storage takes pride in attention to detail and a courteous professional staff. Take the worry and stress out of your next move with All My Sons Moving and Storage. Call today to schedule an estimate or ask about our free kit on planning your next move. This is it. The Chevy Red Tag event ends January 3rd. Get to your Chevy dealer now for low red tag prices on most Chevy vehicles. And we've just announced that already great lease offers have gotten even better. Now, qualified lessees can lease a 2006 Impala LS for around $239 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for details. Hurry. The Chevy Red Tag event ends January 3rd. See your Southern Chevy dealers. The finest pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs in Central Florida are at Central Florida Toyota Certified Used Car Center in Kissimmee. If you're in need of your first, second, or third vehicle, Central Florida Pre-Owned has it all. Top quality vehicles of all makes and models selected, inspected, and certified. Florida's only standalone certified pre-owned Toyota facility where you can buy with confidence, no pressure, and everyday lowest prices. With a Toyota Certified Full Service Center, on the trail between Osceola Parkway and Highway 192 is where you'll find Central Florida Toyota Certified Used Car Center. 
is 15 minutes after the hour. Welcome back to The Daily Buzz. Here are your latest headlines from CNN and the Associated Press. The fate of thousands of hurricane-damaged homes in New Orleans is up in the air this morning. Officials in the Big Easy have bowed to pressure from the activists and agreed not to demolish homes before a court hearing next week. The decision was made after community activists sued to stop the city from moving ahead with plans to tear down the buildings without owner's consent. The city claims that the buildings targeted for demolition by inspectors are dangerously unstable, but many say private property is just that, private property, no matter what condition. And a garbage truck driver in Massachusetts is counting his blessings this morning after escaping his truck that plunged into a river. Cops say Julio Alvarez after they noticed garbage floating down the river and then they had to track it back to the truck. Apparently, Alvarez was emptying a dumpster at the end of a steep driveway with a front-loading truck close to the edge of the embankment. Ouch. After he was rescued, Cruz spent the afternoon pulling the truck out of huh. the river. Dirty job. Somebody's got to <laughs> do it. You're plugging to the news. We'll see you in just a little bit. All right, Keith, thank you. Just saying, we're getting ready for 2006. Yes. I just got used to writing 2005 on checks. I know. I had one of those things. moments the other day where I'm like, what year is it? I couldn't remember, but then that's a daily Yeah, thing. we're getting older. That's a good sign. <laughs> well, if you are getting ready for your New Year's getaway, you might be tired of all the hassle. Now, if you are, here are some great tips from CheapSeats.com so you can create some travel resolutions for the new year. Number one, lighten your load, they say. If you're planning to bargain shop, only pack the bare essentials. It's easier to get around the airport if you don't have to check your luggage. Next, copy yourself. Email all of your critical information like your e-tickets, hotel reservation numbers, and your passport ID to a Hotmail or other internet account so that you can check it anytime, anywhere on the planet. Number three, red alert. Pricing sometimes fluctuates depending on whether you book early or at the last minute. So if you are flexible on airports or dates, sign up for e-alerts that will give you a heads up on fare specials. And finally, make labels. Packing your Palm Pilot or Day Timer that has your important information and addresses can be a risky move. The travel experts say that if you plan to send postcards or letters, create labels in advance. That way you can just slap them on poolside. Okay, I'm never going to do that. That's last too much day. planning. I'm never There's no do that. way I'm packing at the last minute. There's no way I'm going to have address labels ready uh, to no. go. No, and I'm never not going to take my Palm Pilot or my other information because you need that kind of stuff. Phone numbers when you're traveling, you got to have that. If you don't like to deal with the crowds, the travel experts say the best time to travel is the week after Thanksgiving and the week after New Year's. The New Year's holiday. Because okay, everybody's already traveling, Everyone's I guess. traveled already. Okay. It is water cooler time, so we check in with Mitch English. Indeed it is. We jump into the water cooler with a story out of the Wall Street Journal that says marriage planners are seeing an increase in real-life wedding crashers. This is all after the popular movie with Vince Vaughn and Luke Wilson hit the big screen. Get this, some couples have figured out that they are having wedding crashers because they just find random people and random couples in their wedding <laughs> pictures. Awesome. You do something one time, you get busted. Uh -huh. uh, so here's our water cooler question. We want to hear your crazy wedding stories. Have you ever crashed a wedding? Would you crash anyone, or would you hook up with uh, chicks, or guys in this case, at these big events? We want to hear buzz at dailybuzz.tv, all you wedding crashers. Uh, we had a very small wedding, so uh, when one person who we don't know shows up, then it kind of, you know, raises a red flag. But there were still people. People from church, those these kind. And I got, I hope they're not watching right now. But uh, they were like, if they knew there was free food there, they would come. And they didn't bring me anything. I was a little pissed off, you know? We we had a guy, oh, I'll never forget, I hope he's not watching either. The, uh, the guy who took our photos, we started calling him Rapunzel because he had so much nose hair, we were saying oh, you could no. actually no. climb it. No. And this guy's like an indelible moment in our minds. We're like, that's the dude that snapped all the pictures. It was disgusting. You couldn't look at the camera. Did you, did you find yourself constantly going like this? Yes, everybody's oh. nervous. Why well, at our wedding, we had in our reception line, receiving line, we were saying, you know, hi to everyone. And, and we saw someone and said, Hey, who are you with thinking it was someone's date? Right. And he says, well, I'm with so-and-so. And then we're like, who's so-and-so? <laughs> and then you're thinking, wait a minute. And then we didn't even see a present or anything from the so-and-so. That's so, it. If bring a present crash if you're going to crash. Bring a wedding <laughs> present. Buzz at dailybuzz.tv. That's our email address. You can also go by our website. We have a form there. That uh, is our water cooler question du jour. Back to y'all. Thank you, sir. Hey, if you drink Pepsi because you've heard that uh, Coca-Cola has as much acid as battery acid, then stay tuned. Mitch is firing up the rumor control to let you know if it's the real thing or not. Plus, Lindsay Lohan will not have her day in court with the paparazzi who slammed into her car. I'll give you the scoop next before you head out the door.
Kids are on vacation, but we still got some old school for you. Check it out. Thanks, Dad, as always. Well, you know, everyone says today's the happiest day of your life, but it's not. The happiest day is when your son gets married. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. Happy holidays from WB18, your home for laughs. Do you live life on the go? Then go to Suzuki's year-end send-off. You'll find year-end pricing on all eight Suzuki models, including the all-new Grand Vitara and new Forenza. Plus, every Suzuki comes with America's number one warranty. Suzuki's year-end send-off. Better hurry, because after January 3rd, the deal's off. Ready, set, go. Lease the all-new Suzuki Grand Vitara for just $1.99 a month for 30 months. Hurry in. Today's episode, Connecting to the Internet. Mom, hang up. I need to get online. Okay, sweetie. Ah, oh, dial-up. It's like our song. Will you play it again? Hey! You know, there's an easier way to get online. Bell South Fast Access DSL. Oh. And now it's the same low price every month. $24.95. No gimmicks, guaranteed. Okay, move it. a little bit to the right. There you go. You can talk and surf at the same time. Download in seconds. And if you order Fast Access DSL today, well, you can get this fast HP computer with a 17-inch monitor for just $349. So call now. I can't. I'm on dial-up. Bell South, listening, answering. At 2020 Eyeglass Superstore, you can clearly see the value. With over 4,000 frames to choose from, we've got your great new look for the new year. A frame for every face and a price for any budget. Independent optometrists and our Wavefront technology are available seven days a week. Get your new glasses in an hour or two in most cases. Come in now and get two pairs of prescription eyeglasses for as little as 100 bucks. Shouldn't you be seeing 2020? 2020 Eyeglass Superstore, now with locations in Castleberry and Melbourne. Call 321-259-3935 today. If you've been waiting for the right time to buy your new Nissan, that time is now. It's the year-end clearance sale at Bill Ray Nissan in Longwood. Huge savings on every vehicle in stock, up to $6,000 off MSRP. Buy a new loaded Titan King Cab for only $16,995. New x with air, automatic, CD, stereo, and much more, only $17,995. Get your price and payment in five minutes, no hassle. But this sale ends soon, so hurry into Bill Ray Nissan in Longwood. For over 75 years, your source for the lowest prices in town. Daily Buzz 23 minutes past the hour. Time to get you informed and out the door. In the news, it wasn't a bird, but the plane that caused Oprah's private jet to make an emergency landing. The Big O can thank the standard wear and tear for the crack in the plane's windshield. Oprah and Stedman had just taken off from the Santa Barbara airport when they were forced to turn around and make an emergency landing. In health news, if you suffer from depression, it is all about Vegas, baby. The Vegas Nerve Stimulator, approved by the FDA in July, is an electrical device that aims to treat the dark blues or the mean reds. The device delivers electrical pulses every five minutes to the vagus nerve, which carries info to the part of the brain that controls your mood and your sleep. Happy days are here again. And in entertainment news, the photographer involved in Lindsay Lohan's recent crash will not be charged. Apparently, the DA's office could not find any evidence to prove that the guy deliberately slammed his minivan into Lohan's Mercedes-Benz. Really? The vendor bender did create new anti-paparazzi laws, allowing celebs to collect big cash from shutterbugs who harass them. And we hear that George Clooney has rekindled his romance with Lucy Liu. Page Six is reporting that the duo was seen getting into a car outside a popular New York restaurant. An onlooker told the New York Post she looked like she was going to devour him. Wow. Clooney is thought to have dated 
Lou back in 2000. No need to rebound, Jorge. Come on. There's plenty of fresh fish out there. And the word of the day is sign ashore, a noun meaning anything to which attention is strongly turned, a center of attraction. Used in a sentence, four women make up the main cast of Desperate Housewives, but most people in Hollywood believe Terry Hatcher is the sign ashore of the cast. Mitchie, back to you. All the juicy details are coming up, I think, isn't that next Sunday on the mm -hmm. Desert Housewives? Yeah. Time for us to crank up our room and control. Woo! That's it, my babies. You know, we all love to drink it. It's part of the American lexicon, and we all freaked out when they actually tried to change the formula. We're talking about Coca-Cola, of course, and there's some interesting facts out there and some ridiculous rumors about the always Coca-Cola, but here are the real things about the beverage. First and foremost, Coke does not have acids that are dangerous to drink. It's not gonna be on the market if that was true. Coke does contain small amounts of citric acid and phosphoric acid. However, the percentage is so small, along with the concentration of that acid, it's not going to make any difference. Matter of fact, your orange juice has more citric so acid. That's so true. As well. And pineapple juice, And pineapple too. juice as well, so you've got to keep that in mind. Here's some rumors we're going to kind of go through okay. in really bullet points. Okay. Coke can dissolve a T-bone steak in two days. Not true. It would take the almost gallons and gallons of just the citric acid to do that. It's not going to happen at but all. Would you soak a steak in Coke? Oh, it, it does pull that in. I love that. I think what happened was somebody did that and they came back and it was gone. <laughs> I'm eating it. Uh, here's another one. Uh, Coke removes rust spots off chrome. Um, the acid in there does, but they're saying if you're going to use these things for clean, don't use Coke. Use just like uh, like maybe like a Sprite or something that has similar to it, something that's clear because you're going to have the stain from the karma. Uh, it also cleans the uh, corrosion from car battery termini terminals. It does do that, but also same does with the other ones with any kind of uh, citric acid and uh, phosphoric acid as well. If you have something for Rumor Control, why don't you send it our way? Remember, I delete all forwarded emails. Make sure you put Rumor Control in the subject line. On the heels of the federal eavesdropping controversy comes evidence the feds are illegally patrolling you in cyberspace. We'll give you the 411 in the cookie controversy coming up. All right, it is now 26 minutes after the hour. The Daily Buzz will be right back. The Daily Buzz is brought to you in part by Classic Automotive Group. Come in to Classic Volkswagen now for great holiday savings on the all-new 2006 Jetta Value Edition, the best car in its class. For a limited time, take advantage of special savings on the 06 Jetta, starting from only $17,695. That's right, only $17,695. Your Jetta comes standard with ABS, AC, cruise control, power windows, locks and mirrors, MFM CD player, and much more, plus a four-year, 50,000-mile warranty and our complimentary lifetime tire program. Hurry in today. This sale ends soon. Classic Volkswagen. Give us a call at 1-800-NEW-VOLTS. Spring is right around the corner and there's never been a better time to invest in your home. Give your patio, pool deck, or driveway a new and distinctive look with C&D Thin Pavers. Our one inch pavers are applied with a Thindex overlay system. That makes it easier than ever to beautify your home. And you'll skip the hassle and expense of tearing out the old stuff. Call today and we'll even bring our showroom to you. Complete with our most popular styles and colors. For the best quality and value, there's only one choice. C&D Thin Pavers, paving the way to a beautiful home. Orlando Tire and Wheel, high performance tire and custom wheel specialist. Visit our showroom and choose from the hottest inventory of custom wheels, springs, intakes, brakes, accessories, and car audio. Upgrade your vehicle without losing the factory ride quality. Our nationally SEMA certified professionals will help you choose the right wheel for your ride. Orlando Tire and Wheel can finance everything you need to fit your budget. Orlando Tire and Wheel, the premier auto emporium. It's the final days of the Red Tag sales event at Jim Rathman Chevrolet. That's right, Jim. And now until January the 2nd, we have GM's Red Tag discount price on every Chevrolet in stock. But remember, at every other Chevrolet dealership, the Red Tag sale price starts at MSRP. At Jim Rathman Chevrolet, our Red Tag discount starts at JRVP, which is an already discounted value price. That's right. So call us now, 877-USA-CHEVY. Or stop by at Jim Rathman Chevrolet, US1, Melbourne. Or visit us online at jimrathman.com. You'll see values like these 2006 Chevy Suburbans. We've got 64 in stock, another 24 on the way. They start at under $30,000. It's unbelievable. A 2006 Chevrolet Suburban for under $30,000. Don't miss out. And remember, today we're open till midnight. That's right. So call us right now, 877-USA-CHEVY. Or stop by Jim Rathman Chevrolet, US1 in Melbourne. Or visit us online at jimrathman.com. We'll see you there. My pot of gold, your daddy's little girl to have a home. It's 
easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is drunk driving. It's a song that everybody knows. Nobody knows the words halfway through. Did you ever know? This is one of those you mumble. You got it. I just the, 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 the laser bar. Rock the Casbah. Cherie, don't like it. This is not cool. That one makes no sense. I don't know. And don't get me started wrapped on you two songs. Yo, oh, yeah, and wrapped up like a douche, you're like a roamer in the night. What the? Wrapped, wrapped up like a douche. douche. It still makes no wrapped sense. Like okay, douche. then. Another Nobody runner knows. in the night. Blinded by the light. Welcome to Daily Buzz Karaoke. Good to have you along. I'm John Brown it. with Andrea Jackson. Uh -huh. He did it originally, and then Man for Man did it afterwards. I and it's know. talking about basically how kids go into the rock and roll industry thinking they're blinded because they see all the lights. Uh, but then the deuce is a race car. Yeah, well, your life is fast. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Still makes no sense. You know what? I love the cookies. I love oh, the cookies. Do you really? Especially mm. the cookies from the NSA. Oh, Those are they're good fantastic. Ones. Just like mom used to yeah, make. Yeah, just like mm -hmm. mom used to make. But they're, they're in big trouble for, uh, you know, planting some cookies on your web browser, so we'll talk about it. Well, uh, the wife made some cookies. They were N-A-S-T-Y. Let me tell you. They, oh, no. She's watching. Be careful. No, no. no. She made, I made the homemade ones and she made the little prepared ones. So her cookies were square. She just took it out and threw it in there. Mm -hmm. I like the homemade ones. Showers expected in parts <clears throat> of uh, the Northeast. We'll talk weather as well as taking your emails at buzz at dailybuzz.tv for a water cooler. First, let's get you plugged into the news this morning. And here's Kia Malone. Hey, Kia. Hey, John. Here are your headlines from CNN and the Associated Press. Wildfires are continuing their rampage across Texas and Oklahoma this morning. So far, the blazes have killed five people, including two women trapped inside their homes. Wildfires have also destroyed more than 100 buildings in both states, leaving parts of towns in ruins. Firefighters say wind gusts of up to 40 miles per hour are fueling the flames that have charred nearly 20,000 acres in those two states. Northern California is in for another drenching this morning as more storms are expected to roll through. Rivers in the Bay Area are at their highest levels in seven years, causing power outages and forcing some people to evacuate. Flood warnings are already in effect for the northern half of the state where one person has died as a result of a car pileup blamed on a landslide. Meanwhile, state and federal officials are releasing huge amounts of water from two dams to free up more reservoir space. And an Ohio man accused of being a Nazi concentration camp guard is one step closer to being shipped back to his native country this morning. An immigration judge ruled that there is no evidence to justify John Demyanyuk's claim that he would be mistreated if deported to Ukraine. But his battle to stay in the States is not over because the 85-year-old retired auto worker can appeal the decision. Demyanyuk lost his U.S. citizenship after a judge ruled that documents from World War II proved he was a Nazi guard at various death camps. You're plugging to the news. I'll see you in about 15 minutes. All right, thanks a lot, Kia. Let's check in with Mitch English, see what's happening. Any snow, any rain? What you got, Mitch? Well, we got lots of rain, and as Kia was just talking about, California's getting into a little break in the action today. This is Pacifica right by San Francisco. 20-foot waves have moved through. There was a pier there. It was about 25 feet tall that uh, got some damage to it as well. You could see, look out, yeah, and, you know, and, and there are people, believe it or not, that think, hey, mm -hmm. nice wave, going to go surfing. Good news is, in this video, at least we're not seeing that happen because it's a very dangerous uh, situation. Have been seeing some heavy showers once again through the west, and that has been the weather story. As we put the radar into motion, you're going to watch as these showers start to make their way from the northern California, Oregon area, even into Washington State. A little break in the action as far as the morning hours go. The showers are expected to return by this afternoon. The trek brings a little bit of snow in the upper elevations in parts of Idaho and then in Montana. Also going to see some morning snow throughout parts of Utah. That's what's happening throughout the nation. Here now, look at your day ahead. Temperatures today of 73 comes with higher winds out of the west southwest. We'll see them up to around 20 miles per hour. There's a slight chance of showers. Don't think we'll see anything really heavy. 45 for the expected low. Nice and clear for tonight. Five day forecast comes up in seven minutes. Do you always feel like someone's watching you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Always. Well, they probably okay. are. The National Security Agency's internet side has been putting files known as cookies on visitors' computers that can track their web surfing despite the strict rules banning such activity by the feds. The cookies were mysteriously removed on Tuesday after a complaint was filed and the Associated Press picked up the story. <laughs> and soon after, the agency officials admitted they had made a mistake. Until Tuesday, the NSA site created two cookie files that would 
have not expired until 2035, which is way beyond the life of any computer on the market today. But a spokesperson for the NSA said that their recent software upgrade is to blame. Sure. They claim the cookies were only temporary until the web user logs off. Okay, now sometimes cookies can log preferences. So that way you go to a banking site, it remembers part of your password. And your name and exactly. password, Exactly, that's right. what it uses it for. But they also have cookies that can track where you've been. That's why people are concerned about this. Which is what this one exactly, did. Exactly, because you go to the NSA site, you get the cookie, then all of a sudden it can send a little uh, uh, a beacon back saying, well, he went to this site, this site, porn, this site, this site, this site, porn. Who goes to the NSA website? <laughs> Might That's what out. I'm saying. What are they going to track from those people? Oh. Yeah, all right, then. The gifts have been given, but what do you do with the ones that you don't want anymore? Of course, you sell them on eBay. Some people are now bringing their unwanted presents to the afterworld of holiday gifts at a store called We'll Sell It on eBay. But the twist is this. The customers don't want to be recognized because they don't want the person to know that they're actually reselling the gifts. These are how the people did the interview, it's okay? Like Tony the Tiger. Exactly, here's how it works. What we do is very simple. We place it on eBay's worldwide auction market. We take professional photographs of it. We write a very nice description about the item and sell it. And once the item sells, then we cut you a check minus our commission. <laughs> All right, people feel this is the best solution because you don't have to deal with the long return lines. You can get cash and not credit back, and you don't feel as guilty. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wouldn't feel guilty anyway. I'd just take it there. Have you used one of those stores yet that sells your stuff for no. you? No, you know what? Because that's too complicated. I'm, I'm, I just take the stuff to the Goodwill and That donate. easy? You yeah. get the receipt, you get the tax break. By the way, you only have a couple days left to do it for this year. I so know. I point that out. Three big bags I'm taking to the Goodwill today. And people don't realize how much money you can mm. get back for that kind of yeah. stuff. Several thousand dollars, uh, you know, they can track it all down. You just write down what you took there and you get some money back. All right, let's check in with Clayton Morse. It is time for News by the Numbers. Hey, Clayton. Hey, good morning, guys. Andre, you're taking a big bag of clothing to the Goodwill today. Three, Three bags Do you clothing. mind if I rifle through them first? I'm looking for a nice little camisole. Absolutely, <laughs> uh, they're in the back of the truck. Oh, you, can, you can go check it out. A little blouse. Yeah, I think there's uh, a couple tank tops need, that would look good on you. I need something for the weekend. Maybe a little shrug. Mm -hmm. Belly shirt. Mm -hmm. She wears those Perfect on the weekend. Perfect for New Year's Eve. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look, little sparkles, little sequins. Let's go beyond your headlines this morning. Take a look at your news by the numbers. Here's your first number this morning. One. Only one Medal of Honor has been given out to American troops in both Iraq and Afghanistan in the four years that we've been at war. It's the nation's highest honor for bravery. Here's the only winner. Sergeant First Class Paul Smith was awarded the Medal of Honor after he died for helping to save the lives of 100 U.S. troops. Now, experts say the troops are still as courageous as they always were, but they have less of a chance to show off their valor because we have such uh, superior weapons. So it makes it all the more difficult for us to actually hand out Medal of Honors. One. Here's your next number this morning. 60%. That's the percentage of customers who say they'll take their business elsewhere if they're treated rudely. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's all part of a new study which shows that happiness really does pay off. Customers will buy more if they see smiling employees. And happiness in the workplace can get you a better job. A boss is more likely to promote you also if you keep a smile on your face. Research shows that people gravitate towards others who deliver psychological benefits. Hmm. I was buying a product the other day. Woman said, this is a true story. What do you do? I said, I work for the Daily Buzz. She says, I hate that show. <laughs> Had I not needed that part that day because my shower was torn apart, I'm out of there. You don't watch me, you don't send money my way, you're not getting it You know what's the worst part about it? She's our boss. <laughs> oh, that's true. She works so upstairs. I don't know how that study works. It was Andrea. <laughs> yeah. I, I, sell, I sell faucets part-time. Not a big supporter. <laughs> yeah. Here's your next uh, number this morning, 73% up on the big tote board. That's the percentage of travelers who rely on an alarm clock to wake up when they're traveling. Here's how it breaks down, of course. 73% use that alarm clock to wake up. 65% use a wake-up call at the hotel. 24% use a cell phone to wake themselves up, and 7% use nothing. They're like Kramer. They just put a plug well, on the mind to wake up naturally. nothing else to do when they're on vacation. Be, you know? <laughs> that's true. Uh, I don't trust those alarm clocks in the hotel I'm, rooms. I'm always afraid that the, the front desk will mess up and they yeah. won't call me and I get, huh. you know, like, so. I just like the phone call. <laughs> no, so you don't feel lonely. Because it, no, it wakes you up because you think, oh my gosh, something's wrong, no matter what. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> I, I hate it when it's a recording and you think it's a real person. Yeah. Thanks, Hi, thanks for calling. Hey, yeah. If you would like to make sure you check it out. <laughs>
<laughs> Showers expected into the northeast. That's going to bring temperatures into the 30s, into the 50s throughout parts of uh, New England. We'll also see some clouds strolling through parts of the Midwest as well. Higher winds, uh, not as strong as what we saw yesterday, but pretty brisk winds develop throughout parts of northern Texas as well as Oklahoma. We'll see a little bit of the uh, snow make its way into parts of the northern central plains as well as exiting out of Utah into Colorado. That's what's happening throughout the nation. Here's, what the, here's the weather in your zip code. Weather on the Daily Buzz is brought to you by Your Home for Laughs. You know what? I mean, it's not bad today. Do got a chance of rain, okay? Good. Temperatures going into the uh, low 70s for the high, but I want you to look at the winds out this west, southwest. Now, gusts could get up to around 25, possibly 30 miles per hour. Very windy day today. Extra glue. <laughs> no, 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 Matt, and I didn't get it. 45 for the expected low. Nice and clear for our expected forecast tonight. Sorry, got to get them all out of my system before the new year, okay? We're talking about good weather. I mean, it's not bad at all. Temperatures Friday and Saturday going from the low 70s to the upper 70s. You got a great looking uh, forecast for Saturday night if you're going out there and partying. Take it easy now, all right? We want to see you there in 2006. Time now for Bitches World. Yay! Hey, the U.S. ambassador to Pakistan has been saying that Osama bin Laden may no longer have operational control of his organization. You hear about this? So we uh, thought we'd look for some signs. Here are some signs that this just might be true. First sign that he has no more control. The Al-Qaeda has held its first ever Christmas party. Woo! You know that he's out of control. Our next one. The Al Jazeera network has been preempted by his tapes with infomercials, which <laughs> not really selling show. very well. All right, our next one. The reward for his capture is down to just a coupon for free pizza. Oh. <laughs> Might have lost control. His four wives all want him to start taking out the garbage. And finally, no one laughs at his jokes anymore. Right? <laughs> I've been out of control apparently for a long time. But I tell you all have to be consistent. Thank you, sir. Hey, we have a new invention to mention. Mitch is going to introduce us to the Wubba Nub. Infant pacifier. Just wait until you see this sound thing. Right. I'm Wubba sorry. Uh, and it doesn't matter what party they represent. Politicians say the darndest things. Clayton Morris is trying to keep them honest by writing down the dumbest quotes of 2005. And parents are panicked in one state where a cow has rabies. Those details coming up as we plug you into the news. Hi, I'm Jessica Simpson, and if you're like me, your skin is far from perfect. I've struggled with difficult skin for years. But now I have clear skin I can depend on and a friend I can count on. Proactive Solution is a complete anti-blemish system that helps treat acne and prevents future breakouts. Cosmetically formulated by two Stanford University trained experts, Proactive is an answer for acne. It not only keeps you acne free, but it leaves your skin glowing, vibrant, and fresh. You're gonna love this stuff. And loving your skin just got easier. Act quickly and get a 30-day kit of Proactive for just $19.95. As a special free bonus, you'll get the amazing refining mask designed to zap problems it's overnight. I have comments on my skin all the time, whether it's from makeup artists, photographers, fans. Proactive is the number one best-selling acne system in America, named best acne treatment by Allure magazine. With Proactive's proven three-step system, you can heal acne today and prevent future breakouts tomorrow. Whenever you do the three-step program, you can feel it working. It smells nice, it just smells fresh. And the three-step program is three minutes. It's a quick thing, and if I think it's quick, then it's really quick. <laughs> Ordering is quick and easy, too. And with our 60-day money-back guarantee, you can try Proactive risk-free. Hello? Why not try Proactive? What can you lose except blemishes? I'm not insecure at all talking about blemishes or flaws. Having flaws and being a normal person is what has made me successful. Proactive means clear skin. Skin you can kiss, skin you can touch, skin that looks great whether you're out shopping or up close and personal with somebody you love. What more could a girl ask for? Order now and get priority mail shipping at no extra charge. Call 1-800-391-9731. Clear skin is sexy skin, so get the look you want with Proactive. 
working from home changed my life. It all started when I was referred by this free service. With all the money I made working from home, I bought a new home. This is the